today's video, I'm going to do a summer favorites video. I haven't done one of these since my spring favorites, so we're doing another one. I like to do these every once in a while. If you hear noises in the background, it's Junie being psycho because she's she's in a mood. Let's start with skincare. The most important skincare of all in summer, I mean year round, every day, because people scream at you to wear your sunscreen. I have two sunscreens here at two completely different price points, and I love both of them. So I first bought this Walgreens 50 SPF for sensitive skin. I love it because it doesn't make me break out and it does not leave a white cast. At first it's kind of a it's kind of a little scary. It seems like it's going to but it quickly blends into your skin and looks great. The only thing is is that it is a little bit tacky for a little bit. So I think it's really good if you're gonna wear it underneath makeup because it's almost like a primer. But the sunscreen is three dollars so if the only thing wrong with it is that it's a little sticky for a little bit that's fine. Now on the other end, I tried out the Super Goop Glow Screen and as soon as I tried this out, I knew it immediately it was going to be in some type of favorites video. You know some products that you hear everyone talk about, you're like, yeah, 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 okay. Sure, that's how I felt until my friend Caitlin tried this out in a video and her skin has been looking amazing. So I was like, I need to try that. I don't know what is in this stuff, but it makes your skin just look glowy and amazing and it almost like blurs your skin and just um, makes your skin look radiant. Junie, <laughs> that cat is psycho. Even if it wasn't a sunscreen, even if it was just kind of like a glowy product, I think I would still wear it because it makes my skin look so good. So it's just a plus that it's sunscreen and I should be wearing it every day. Junie! Going along with skincare, <laughs> this is my facial massager. This is the best facial massager ever. I found this from Wellness with Soap. As soon as she posted this, I immediately went to Amazon and bought it. This feels like you can tell that it's effective. You can tell that it's doing something. I, I'm, good. I'm wearing makeup, but I'm going to wash this later when I do it tonight. But it just like perfectly gets your jawline. And also right here on your cheekbones. I also like to go like this. I don't even care if I'm messing with my makeup. Like, this feels so good. <laughs> I feel like you hold a lot of stress and anger and everything right here. It just feels like you're getting all of the stress out. And I think these are great for gifts. Like, get some on this and, like, a good little face oil. There you go. Next up, let's talk about a brow product. This is the Merit Volumizing Pomade in Brown. I'm always skeptical about brow tints and pomades because they can be too much very fast. So I'm wearing it on my brows right now. I feel like it just gives you such a natural brow and doesn't do too much. And it's very buildable, so it's easy to work with. It's just been so easy to do my brows and it's very quick on the go brow. Love this stuff. Next two items are gonna be kind of like self-care items so the first one is my journal i bought this journal i want to say strategically this journal is like 25 dollars. i got it from target i know i know i know you're asking me like Lindsay, why the hell would you spend 25 dollars on a journal you can buy a journal for less than 10 bucks like on amazon online somewhere i just want to have a place to go to let everything off of my shoulders off my chest and onto the paper but i've tried it before and it, it lasts for a couple of days and the journal's like in the bottom of my drawers so i thought if i spend 25 dollars on this journal then i i need to use it like i'm not gonna waste that money and it's worked i've actually been using this not every single day i feel like it's hard to journal every day because schedule is always different things come up but it has been very consistent highly recommend spending way too much money on a journal and you will definitely use it <laughs> the other self-care item i have to share with you guys which has been honestly a huge part in my life for a long time and i think i've mentioned it in vlogs before but i really want to put it in a favorites video because this literally i literally don't think i could live without it and that is essential oils essential oils basically run my life. If you are someone that has anxiety and you don't own any essential oils, if you don't use essential oils, they will be honestly one of the biggest helps. And I'm not just talking about putting in like an oil diffuser because I don't even use an oil diffuser. I literally roll it on my wrist. You can put it on your spine. Your spine is like the most effective place. You could put it behind your ears or you can literally just smell it. I bring this with me everywhere. This is the Guru Nanda Calming Sleep Oil Blend. You can actually get it at like 
Walgreens or I think Target, but it is in a different, I think they redid the packaging so it looks a little bit different. But honestly, any essential oils, my favorite ones are like a lavender frankincense type of blend. Put it on my wrists. I do this sometimes before I go to sleep. It honestly does help me go to sleep way faster because it just helps me calm down. I swear, essential oils, they run my life. Now let's get into some fun stuff. Let's get into like some fashion favorites. Honestly, the reason why I did this favorites video is because of something I showed you in my last vlog. And this has been my favorite purchase of the summer. Might be my favorite purchase of 2021. It's one of those things that you don't know you needed until you got it. And that is my Lululemon Everywhere bag. It is so easy to carry all of your essentials around. I take it to the gym, I take it on errands, take it everywhere. It has shown me how easy guys have it because because they put everything in their pockets. Like they are so carefree living their lives when I have to carry everything in like a big ass purse or like a backpack or a tote bag. I'm like, no, F that. I'm putting everything that I need in this little bag and I just, you know, wear a crossbody and forget about it. I've seen people post about it and I was like, why do we need a fanny pack? I don't want a fanny pack. I don't I don't need a fanny pack. But if this is a fanny pack, then I'm all for the movement. Since we're talking about the gym, my favorite hats to wear to the gym are my aloe hats. <laughs> I have three here. I literally have two more in my car because these are the most breathable hats to work out in. They come in a bunch of different colors. They are so, well, this one is dirty. They are so freaking comfortable. And if you've never worn like a cap to the gym, it's a different experience. You feel powerful i just put my hat on and whatever machine i'm doing i'm like looking down and i have my headphones in and i'm just doing my thing and i feel like i'm blocking everyone out and i'm just in my zone it's more than just an accessory it it makes the gym a different experience for me next gym item are my lululemon biker shorts these are the six inch biker shorts i bought these at the beginning of summer because i was like i know i'm not gonna wear leggings all summer to the gym it's gonna be way too hot these are the absolute best lululemon aligned biker shorts in the six inch so freaking comfortable, so comfortable to work out in, so comfortable to just go out in. I can't believe this is the only color I have them in. I definitely need more. Can I do a little plug for myself really quick? Just a little bit. My next merch drop is going to be on Friday and we are launching our white set. So I'm wearing the tank top right now. And then here are the boxer shorts. So you can buy this as a set or you can buy each of these pieces separately. Everything about this set, the material, the fit, the embroidery, the white on white, everything about it is just so perfect and everything that I wanted. Like every time I look at it, I'm just getting butterflies because I wanted to make like the perfect white set. I wanted to make the perfect tank top. I get a lot of questions on where can I get the best white tank top that's not see-through, that's a comfortable fit, and I really couldn't say any place. My Zara wanted see-through, my Brandy wanted see-through, my Princess Polly wanted see-through. One of our biggest things is that we didn't want it to be see-through. I'm not wearing a bra underneath it right now, and it is, we made the perfect white tank top. I just, I'm, I'm just gonna say here, I'm so proud of this set, so proud of the tank, so proud of the boxer shorts. So these are gonna be available Friday, August 20th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're gonna be doing pre-orders for this set like we did for the black set. So the site will be open for 48 hours and then we will close the site and we will start making your guys' sets. Usually production takes about two to four weeks and then we will ship all of your orders. We keep you guys updated on the lindsaybray.co Instagram as well as my Instagram, as well as vlogs. And I'm just so excited for you guys to be able to buy this set and for you guys to get your orders like i'm already we haven't even dropped these yet and i cannot wait for you guys to have your hands on these you knew they were coming you knew they were coming because literally my last four instagram pictures are of me wearing these sunglasses they have been definitely my summer favorite my all-time favorite i freaking love these sunglasses they are the vela sunglasses they were a expensive pair of sunglasses to buy, but I know there's a lot of dupes out there as well because I bought these a minute ago and obviously since then places have made dupes. So I will link more dupes down below, but I'll also link these in case you guys are interested in these ones. Time to get into some shoesies. We have three pairs of shoes to show you, two of which have been all over my Instagram, so you know that they're coming. My Steve Madden platform sandals. Almost most worn shoe. I think my most worn shoe is probably my Air Force Ones and I would compare how like staple Air Force Ones are to like this sandal. These were like $60. 
Another thing that since they've been out for a while, there's a lot of dupes because I think these are sold out. They're such a staple sandal. If I was to do another like closet essential video, these would definitely be first on the list for my shoes. Along with my cowboy boots. Another great purchase for summer. I could not believe when I found these. I found them at the Rose Bowl flea market for like 50 bucks. I love that they were already worn in. They are so comfortable. I love the color of them. I just love the look of them. Go to a trading post or um, thrifting. Find yourself a good pair of cowboy boots if you can because this was such a great purchase. Next thing is my North Face hiking shoes. So I don't, I don't even know the name of these. I'll put the name right here because I really have no idea. But I bought them at Dick's Sporting Goods after um, my and Ethan's first hike of the summer because I wore my running shoes on that hike. And I was slipping and sliding all over the place. I could not, I could not get a grip. Going downhill was not good, not good for me. So I did some research and I found these at Dick's. I freaking love them. They are really good hiking shoes and I really like having a designated shoe to go on hikes because they can get so dirty and worn out and I'm not like wearing out my um, my workout shoes and getting those dirty and then like wearing them to the gym. Let's talk about TV shows. I have one show to talk to you guys about and one show only, All American. I watched this show like all three seasons in about a week, a little over a week. I don't know, I don't know what I've done with my life. This past, this past week was a blur. It was so good. I don't like giving spoilers to shows. Uh, I just wanna tell you guys that it was really good and I recommend. I just wanna say, I hate cliffhangers. I hate cliffhangers so much. And this might be one of the biggest cliffhangers of like any show I've watched recently. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let's talk about a new YouTuber I've been watching because I feel like I watch YouTube, I do watch YouTube more than anything, more than Netflix, more than regular TV. I'm just constantly watching YouTube. And this YouTuber, I think his name is HT Hayes or H-T-H-A-Z-E. He does like reacting videos to new songs, albums, music videos. He is so funny and his edits are so funny. And he's an artist himself, so he points out little things in the song. Like he knows the lingo and everything. So he makes you appreciate the songs even more. I waited for him to post his reaction to Billy's whole album. To listen to it and I'm so happy that I did because he made me appreciate the songs even more and now that album is like my favorite I've been listening to it all the time he is so freaking underrated and I think that his channel is just gonna like pop off just pop off if, if it's not already popping off it will be popping off very soon podcasts that I've been listening to if you like true crime podcasts I've been listening to a crime show I think that might be a new one I really really like this one because she like interviews people like the real life people People from the events and she also has some sometimes like recordings from like old interviews from the time these events took place and it's just super super interesting she's very thorough and talks through these events and I don't know they're very entertaining other than that I'm listening to mile higher podcast that one is with Kendall Ray she does a lot of telling true crime stories on YouTube but she also has a podcast and these episodes could be like two hours long sometimes so if you have a really long drive or you're just like cleaning and doing stuff and you want a really long podcast to listen to, that is a really good one and they are very entertaining. My favorite motivational podcast recently has been The Mindset Mentor. I found him just randomly on Spotify one day. I was like, I need a new motivational podcast. But I found one of his episodes and I just kind of got hooked on it. He has taught me so much and has made me implement a lot of new things into my daily routine and into my life and just how I look at certain things. He uploads almost every single day so I don't listen to every single episode I kind of just like go through and see which ones are like sticking out to me that day other than that I have started listening to the Abraham Hicks law of attraction podcast I found this on TikTok someone posted that she was using this as her morning meditation podcast and she has seen her life change in so many different ways so I was like sign me up i started listening to this either in the sauna as well or like when i'm at the gym right before my workouts because i feel like it like switches my mindset i feel like sometimes before i'm at the gym or just going through the motions in my day i'm literally just going through the motions and there's a lot of like noise from being on my phone scrolling on my phone thinking about my schedule thinking about my to-do list and then i go to the gym and i turn on this podcast and it kind of just like tunes out the noise and it makes me think about the bigger picture of things really makes me reflect on things so that's why it's really like a, a meditation podcast because it really makes you think those two podcasts 
have really, really been helping me recently get more motivated to go after what I want, listen to myself and be more motivated and it's been great. So highly recommend those as well. And uh, Billie Eilish's album. <laughs> Billie Eilish's album is so freaking good. I love Getting Older. I love Haley's Comet. I love I Didn't Change My Number. Happier Than Ever. I love Your Power. I love My Future. Just every song is so good. It's literally a no skip album, especially the first like five or six songs just replay over and over and over again. Every time I'm driving, over and over and over again. If I'm, if I'm not listening to a podcast, I'm listening to Billie Eilish's album. It's amazing. That's all I gotta say here. That's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, everything will be linked down below, right, honey bun? Let me know if you guys make any of these purchases or if you already have these things, let me know how you like them as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.